That was nice of you. Thanks. Well, we'll see how it ends up going. Last pick coming out from Team Secret, and it's going to be a juggernaut. So a little bit of that invulnerability for Mr. Nisha. A hard time in this lane. Look at the amount of creeps that is pushing in tier one tower. Seb has Firefly, but the only one sticky charge. Oh my god, is No-Tail gonna kill himself again? That's the real question I have here. We missed first blood, where it is down bottom. Oh, you missed Thompson. first blood. What's up going? Tell me what happened, man. He died. Jerax is gonna be forced back again by Puppy. Has both Arcane Curse. What was the last word there? And Ana, god, taking a lot of damage here, but they have another round of Mist Coil, and the Aphotic Shield needs to live through it here, and it looks like he is for the moment, and Aphotic Shield turning on his eyes, seeing if he can live through this, but this might be too much. Had stick charges, didn't use them. Uh oh. You're gonna just waste them and you're still gonna die. It's even worse if you don't die and you can't use the courier to heal up. So sometimes it's just oh. better to die because he just regioned up, came back, back to a lane full HP. Yeah. That's fair. That's a good point. Oh, yeah, Absor. Needs to be careful there, buddy. Ana's on top of him. Find the kill, though. <gasps> it's gonna be Ana going down a second death in just a this couple of seconds. This is really bad. Does have a salve, obviously, but we'll be forced back yet again. Top lane, I think, has gone very well for this combo of the Tidehunter and the Puck. Zai right now, 25 and 5. And almost able to get the pressure on a no-tail here as well. Gets the silence out and trying to find the kill. Can he deny himself? Yes, he will. And Ana trying to chase down Zai, but he has a bottle and we'll be able to pick up He's this bounty rune off the kill. back of it. It's going to be one, two, three, four bounties. Actually, oh, mid five. One. Five runes. Dodges the damage, but it's not quite enough. And Jerex now also taking some harassment. Puppy rotated mid, so they're able to get away with one kill. Zai wanting to finish off Seb here, misses uphill, and does have another orb in four seconds, but already Seb is going to be at that shrine. And we'll see if Zai can be able to force it out and do some more damage. Nope, he's just going to jump back to this lane. 2,000 gold lead already for Team Secret. Four to two, six minutes in. And, I mean, there's still this whole factor of the Spectre lineup and being behind early, where you sort of Locking used to it. Lane. You're expecting it. He's going to die again. Man, that's not what you're expecting, though. And I, I can't help but feel like this Pugna is just going to be food all game long. He does not have a good uh, laning stage. As I already mentioned, you're playing against Silencer and Juggernaut and the top Jeez. lane. Monkey Jesus. King, he's still there. So two kills. That, that's that's how you play it. Like yeah, he uh, he's gonna try and get the stack up here and see if he can clear through it. Wants to go into the boots of travel. Meanwhile, up here in the bottom lane, Nisha chasing down Topson, tries to juke through the trees. Nisha has him in the sight still, and they have the silencer in position. So Puppy is gonna get a little bit of a taste of this intelligence up to plus eight now, although they are bringing in more heroes and the Cursed Crown is going to connect. It looks like Nisha seeing if he can buy a little bit of space for Puppy, but... So that's kinda, kinda bad thing. Definitely. 4,000 gold lead. Go for the spin immediately afterwards. Topson not really anticipating this rotation, moving into position, and well, he does go for the decrep, but immediately going to get the silence afterwards, and one more hit from Yapsor, and Nisha gets the kill. But it looks like they're going to stop the pressure here as everybody else moves into position from secret to defend mid. Yeah, look at the build on Anna. Two raid bands, magic wand, a lot of survivability on top of soul ring. This is the item that you don't usually see on the hero because uh, she's struggling right now. And Jesus. Man, what is what is Feedson doing on on bottom? Uh, seeing if he could bait the the pugna into a bad position. You can see Topson is is staying on his own side of the the river now. Although. Well, as I say that, oh god, Thompson, what are you doing, buddy? What's happening? This ain't right. Yapster drops the Ravage. Actually, Oops. they don't decide to chase anymore. Okay. Ravage yeah, used. This is pretty good for OG. Although, as I say that, they dropped the coil, and now the turnaround coming, puppy. He's here for your in. Get away. Everybody trying to run, trying to hide. The spin is there, and it is eventually going to be a kill onto Jerex. Mid one finds the big stun onto Seb, and the Omni Slash chase forward, trying to take down this Bat Rider. Gets up onto the high ground and hits him from the low ground. Nisha stuck in the trees, but it's no problem for this juggernaut. Jerex farming out Ancients with the, or rather, the hard camps with his ulti. 
Uh, you got Spectre trying to get towards the Radiance, but it's going to be a while. Yeah, we should try reconnecting. Okay, well, in the meantime, before we do that, looks like they found Seb. The coil cracks, and he also will go down. Haunt was used there as well as they try and chase forward and actually going to be able to find themselves the kill on the puppy. That's huge. Ana gets a nice chunk of change for that, but he might end up paying for it as the chase is coming and Ana eventually going to get ran down. Maybe the Mist Coil, maybe the Aphotic Shield, maybe enough to keep Ana alive, but no, it looks like they eventually will run this. <gasps> Spectre, are you kidding me? Ana, he gets out of there. No, but he is eventually going to get brought down. That was the Monkey yeah. King putting the finishing touch on it. Gets the pressure on to this tier one tower in the top lane. Level 12. Has the healing ward down as well, but bottom lane is where they're going in, and they want to try and take down Seb yet again. You can look at Ana here. Just stays around for one more creep, but doesn't look like they're going to be able to punish that. Look at Yapsor. He comes to a bottom lane, uh, uses Anchor Smash, stealing the farm from his uh, carry <laughs> player, mid player, whatever you want to call him in this game, and he's building towards Lotus Orb. Lotus Orb is going to do amazing against the Batrider, against the Pagna, also against the Cursed Crown. But, right. Uh, it's not going to be that easy. You have uh, Monkey King, Juggernaut, uh, Puck, like Puck who's extremely farmed as well, and uh, basically it's a lineup with one core, because this Pagna is not going to scale. Oh, a little bit of retribution there. They use everything, and Ana able to get the kill onto Puppy. Nisha, meanwhile, shows up. Yaps are there as well. Decides to use the Omni Slash now onto Seb, and the turnaround is going to be there. Pulls the aggro over to the creeps with the Omni, but not enough to make the difference. Thompson also looking like he's going to die. And wisely, Ana said he did not want to be there anymore. They dropped the Ravage to find the kill onto Thompson, but Darkwell is still able to get out. Meanwhile, top lane, Monkey King, able to find himself Ana. And the poor old Spectre, actually, maybe he's going to be able to turn this back around. He's going in on this. I, I don't know. Can they actually find this kill? Ana has, has seven has sick charges. Six charges. Yep. Is it is coming out on the courier right now, but also the Dark Willow is. Oh no, they're they're sending over the Dark Willow items first, which means that Spectre isn't going to have the Radiance for Haunt. He needs to move over to the courier immediately. And it looks like they are going to be able to get it now. So Spectre gets the Radiance done. They have the Yule Scepter done on the Dark Willow. No Tail moving in position. Tops in there as well. They've already found one. That's going to be a dead mid one. Uh, this is problematic and a half. Anna moves into position, does not have Haunt, but it's just going to run forward and try and take down Nisha. Lotus Orb to turn it. Does have Omni slash back off cooldown in 20 seconds. So a couple big ultimates going to be done there in a second as Topson takes out that healing ward, but will not be initiated upon. So, and right now, OG doing everything they can to enable a mid one. Just a little bit out of vision there. <laughs> that looked funny from our angle, but he was not quite in vision, and they do find the puck. Zai. Able to get the Lotus Orb to take it off immediately. So now in some trouble is this Dark Willow able to go into the Shadow Realm. And now the Chase Forward with the Haunt out as well. Already going to go with the Omni Slash, but not enough to be able to find these kills. Onto the rest of them. Ravage to turn it. Ana, is he going to live through it all? He's able to get the stick charges off. And now he's living. The Decrep, everything comes into position. And they keep Ana alive just ever so slightly. Monkey King is back in the midst of this. But with the Decrep, they're still going to be able to roll, slowly run these heroes down. Ana's chasing does have another dagger in just a second. If he can get into range, Anisha is going to be able to find the spin away. But the big win in Secret Lose 3 is all that Secret stand on after being so far ahead. And these Roche fights ever so often are just the bane of these teams that are in the lead. And they still haven't been able to secure it. And now you start to wonder, well, they do have global still up. Haunt is available, but it feels like they're going to want to save that for what's looking like it's going to be a high ground offense. Although, we say that. Seb moves into position. Ravage comes out. That Batrider is just dead, and looks like Jerix might be following soon afterwards. Last word is out as well. Ana takes down the tower down bottom, so some more space created. They drop the Dream Coil. Everything used. Aphotic Shield takes off the stun from Jerix, but he will get taken down by the Silence in the end. And in the meantime, Nisha continues his work trying to take down Roche. While Spectre got all of the tier 2 tower and now is going to farm out, looks like, the rest of the jungle, though. Looks like he has to back out afterwards. Tops in Glimmer Cape trying to run. And there's I. God, the finds his man. In history. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. And they get I back was like, oh, I'm going to let this guy live. And then Monkey King. <laughs> I don't think he's going to get a Wraith Band. I'm not going to lie. 
All right, smoke up. OG, they reveal themselves with Jerex. The TP coming in from Seb. They have the Wukong's command already down. They missed the Boundless Strike. Ana is in the midst of all of them. They do drop down that globe. We'll have the Manta style afterwards if they want to use it. Benicia left completely and alone. That's what he just already did. Do they have another round of this? Seb, he's somehow been able to live through all of this. Now pulling the Monkey King away from the rest of his team. Nisha left completely alone. They have the Ravage available if they want to use it. So the back out is coming. They need to get the hell out of here. As the rest of Secret has shown up. Thompson trying to walk away. But will eventually be chasing down by Zai, it looks like. As they do have the four staff, keeping him alive. Chase forward, finds that kill onto Thompson. And Secret able to claim theirs in the end. Lift up there with the Yule Scepter and Ana gonna play a little bit of interference. But it is Secret up on the high ground. I think they just needed to try to stall game. Wait until that Aegis is gone because Juggernaut, he dies. He solo died to Spectre. Still to plus Saiyan again now. It's sitting a little bit closer. 15% left for OG. Secret still looking in control of the tempo of this game. But it does start to feel like each of these fights is getting tougher. Juggernaut still staying so farmed, though. And they pull back in one. It's on the Yapsor. He does have Ravage available. Going to drop it to try and turn around this fight. But do they have enough follow-up? Seb still living through that. Pops the BKB and just runs away. He's living. They already have used the coil, but the Omni Slash is going to finish him off, but now they don't have anything left for Ana afterwards. And this slow burn down, trying to take them down one by one by one. Ana is just going to get completely eviscerated. There was no heals that came out, and Thompson wasn't healing up Ana. He was trying to take down Nisha. That was never going to work. The Thompson does look like he is eventually going to get killed off as well. So four Man, die from OG that? in they secret. Uncharacteristic, but Secret taking full advantage and now having to use this buyback on the Spectre feels absolutely horrible. And Secret, where are you going to go now? Wherever they freaking want. Tier 3 going to be assaulted. They still don't have the Batrider up for 15 seconds. And, well, in the meantime, Jarek's just going to end up dying down bottom. Zai finds that pick off. Can they do anything to turn this back around? Ana, Fodic Shield, Chase in, Zai's there as well though, he boots the travel in and now they have the coil, now they have the catch, Ana gonna get stunned, but they're just focusing on the buildings for the moment. Okay, Chase down, coming for more, they do take down that healing ward and Seb gonna pull back in this juggernaut, if they could find this kill, it might start to look a little bit worth it, but I don't know if they have quite enough damage. The heal's coming out, trying to take down, excuse me, that wasn't a heal, it was another champ to kill off Nisha, which just does not work. And it's Nisha, he is the best or top three best carry players in the world right now. And he has been it for yep. quite some time. Yep. Mid one. Chases for Seb, forces out another BKB. Heart is done for the Spectre. And Seb going to TP away. They break it with the coil and that man is dead. So. And I feel like Dark Willow basically didn't do anything in this game. Yeah. It's true. Uh, has not really been able to get anything done. No tail. Trying to hide under the Glimmer Cape. Photic Shield is there, but he will die too. And it all happens too quickly. The base is going to drop, it looks like. They're going to try and clear out these creep waves mid if they can. Topson moving over in a position to take them down. Meanwhile, bottom lane, they're also pushing out. So they're just trying to keep creeps out of the base, if at all possible. Topson goes for another round of it and just hoping to try and clear this out. Needs another Nether Blast here mid and actually doesn't take him out. So these creeps are going to live and he is dead. Thompson goes down. The chase forward. Ana with this heart seeing what he can possibly do, but it's not looking like it's going to be enough. My dog is very upset at the <laughs> prospects of OG winning this game because it looks like Secret are just going to be able to continue to stream forward. And, well, Secret are going to back out eventually. Taking this one down. Yeah, that's the second Rose Cheese and Aegis on Monkey King and on Jug. Jug still sitting on... Uh, Zero deaths. They want to close out this game right now. They're probably going to pop uh, Vukong's command and uh, just try to finish off the Raxes. Oh, man. And they get a DD down bottom. Are they going to be able to steal this away, though? Does not look like... Oh, my God. They're just gone. No tail. His ultimate's going to be popped there for a second. 35,000 net worth lead. Double kill for Zai, who has had what feels to be pretty much immaculate game. Right now, sitting 15, 2, and 16. Man, both Thompson and No-Tail have 
28 deaths combined. What? Yeah, it ain't good. It, it ain't great. Oh, run away, my buddy. Are they gonna find him? No, nope, doesn't quite. And meanwhile, in the base, Ana just dies. They drop a Ravage. Seb is gonna go down. GG's called. That will do it. Um, it's, it's sort of what we were expecting once it got to that point where they were able to force the buyback on the Spectre. Um, and that one fight mid felt like it was the turn. But really, the big thing was just Secret owning the whole time. Oh, they're switching it up. They're gonna run a Pugna last pick. Uh, All I right. Be, I think it's gonna be Pugna, Pugna on Thompson. Uh, or rather, and Seb, both having a good time. Fisher ready in four seconds. Looking for it, Nisha in some trouble there, buddy. Hanging on for the moment, but they draw first blood. Thompson redemption already has more kills than he had last game. No. Uh oh. Jerex. She's down by mid one. No tail. They need to share okay? some damage. Yeah, seeing if they can do it. Ana slows down. Oh, and that's enough. Does not want to sprout in his buddy, though. And no tail. Will it get the sprout? Ana trading hit still hanging on. That blink strike is going to need to use it to jump away here. And it looks like they will find the kill on a no tail. Ana also able to live away from this one. Morphling's just an insane hero. And he's just playing it really, really well. Bottom lane, Zai has gotten 20 and 2 versus the 31 and 6 of Ana. Who also has been able to remain without a death as he jumps forward and tries to find this kill on his eye. And guess what? They're going to get it. No Tail lives through it also. And now the chase forward for Puppy. Jarek showing up at the perfect amount of time. And the body block's coming out, but I don't know if it's going to quite be enough. Enchant Totem is available as they connect it onto Puppy here. Gets the punch, gets the chase, gets the kill. Yeah, I love the, oh, the way Ana Nisha? is playing. Nisha swapping back and forth. Does have another morph, but doesn't use it. Yeah, they set up the lanes correctly. You have Phantom Assassin and Nature's Prophet. Both of these uh, heroes don't really are threatened by COGS because of the extra units and the Blake Strike. COGS plus yeah. Battery Assault. Zai. Power shot. Kind of dodge away. Sprout. It's available again if they want to use it. And the chase forwards. Eye is going to go down as well. So Thompson making the rotation and getting the kill. Six to one. Two thousand gold lead. They're all over the map. And this is a much different type of OG game than we saw in game number one. And Puppy, Puppy. just TB's back in. Wants to give his life away. As Thompson talking a little bit of trash here and gives him the tip afterwards. Oh, there's oh, the goodness. between Puppy and and Dobson. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a true statement. Ana now needs to get the heck out of here, but does not have Blink Strike. Gets pushed up onto the high ground. Nisha gets the kill, and Puppy gonna give him the tip back. <laughs> There's a big rotation coming up to this top lane, though. As Puppy has shown up, but it doesn't look like they're capable of doing anything. And the rocket flare reveals the positioning. Yapsor spots out Jerex, getting into position for these bounty runes. Boundless strike. They pull Jerex back in. And Nisha has shown up as well, where they will find that kill. And Thompson actually going to pop ultimate. They go for the decrep. That actually keeps mid one alive. The decrep ends up causing the death. And now Thompson also going to go down, although they managed to find that kill on Desai and the Monkey King afterwards with the no-tail ulti. So Thompson eventually will fall here, it looks like. Uh, I think. Maybe not. Chase? Yeah, I'm sorry. Does he have any mana? He's trying to touch away the creeps. Couldn't kill him because of the evasion. But Nisha Sick. finds his finish. Sick RP by Yappy there. It's like one, two, three camps. Hookshot used. What? What is that sound? The hell? Excuse me? Oh, we found him. All right, Mr. Seb gonna get ran down. I was not even looking over there. I guess that he was just being a, a tree man, wanting to hang out in the woods for a little bit. Both position fours have a blink dagger and a smoke. You know what, what time it is? It's go time. Ana, not long for this world. The is there. They spot him, jump forward, able to catch, and might not even need the RP. Are they gonna fully commit for him? The chase forward, the cogs push back, and a dead old PA. And now, 
OG still moving into position, misses the hook shot, but that's okay because they can still chase these heroes down, still have RP with the blink available for Meopsor. Earthshaker does have his as well. Jerex looking for his opening. They could take this fight, but they still don't have that oh, PA, and oh, Seb oh. is just going to die, and the blink dagger reveal does nothing. Nisha destroys him. Man, Nisha was staying one step ahead. Oh, no. He he morphed into PA, goes in with the dagger and the blank strike, forcing him to use the Crypophodite, immediately switches to the real morphling and uses adapter strike. So budget shotgun coming into a play. And now Topson trying to jump out of here, but will be found. He TP'd into all of this mess and Secret knew about it and they eventually hunt down the Wind Ranger as well. You said it. As soon as those blink daggers come out in the position fours, they're going to start fighting and OG come out on top in this instance. Zai chasing down No Tail now. Got him caught. Got him oh. controlled. And No Tail going yeah, to die. Out. Although, showing up with the rest of them, Seb misses the life drain. It's like No Tail's still going to live through it regardless. So they don't find that kill, and Puppy now is going to be the one that dies instead as they chase him out. Need a dagger, get the vision, let the dagger do the work. And they're gonna lose tier two tower on the bottom because of it, uh, runes. It's gonna make this a little bit more difficult, but Topson is there with his ulti, and that's gonna maybe make the difference. Although they throw out the rocket immediately, they know what's going on. Can they get into position? The yeah, Absor, he's still got the RP. This is actually so deadly. They need to get the hell out of here. They're not taking it quickly enough. OG need to retreat. They can't take this fight if mid one gets in a position with the Absor over there as well. Nice, they echo slam though. They interrupt Jared with the two person RP. It's not enough. Able to turn it back around. Mid one, the hook shot, it connects on all of them. OG is biting the dust and starting to fall. Thompson trying to run, but it's to no avail. Four go down. It's the age is coming back out in a second. Ana is going to get out of there. They pop back on Morphling though. That might Why be enough to Morphling? make this worth it. Who gets the better initiation? Who goes first? Jerex with the godlike echo slam, but then nice counterplay from Yappy. Three man RP. I think Hookshot actually connected mid mid air. Oh, them was... <laughs> oh, Nisha! He's out of there. They got him caught though. The turnaround coming yet again, and Jerex trying to run, and he's gonna die mid one with that long range punch, and now the chase forward for more OG. They're only gonna connect one with the ice path, but the chase forward with the primal spring and No Tail going to get brought down here in a second. Although No Tail now pushed back inside his own trees, mid one finds that kill. Seb trying to take down another. This is all falling apart for OG in the past couple of minutes. Although Ana jumps forward, tries to make something else, turn it back around, and get that kill on the puppy. So the final tally is actually going to end up being two for two, and that's a dieback for Nisha. So this actually works out okay. Hook shot there for Zai. He could think about trying to turn now onto Ana. He needs the ultimate play here to make it work, and does have battery assault back up again in a second. Ana gets the blink strike up, and power Zai. shot comes through. Oh, tops! and knew where he was at. Pretty plays. I who comes out ahead there? Like Aegis down. It's a dieback from Nisha. I guess Ana lives through all of it. Is that enough? Yeah, Ana is their win condition. And okay. Poppy tanking a lot. The build on Poppy. Chainmail plus Helm. 15 armor on Jakiro. But not enough in the end. And they do have Blink Dagger with RP available from Yapsor. But they found themselves the Monkey King. And Yapsor can't go for the RP play. OG. Just when I was starting to doubt them. Pull it back in fabulous fashion. And now they're up 3,000 gold lead again. It's looking good for them, because this Phantom Assassin has ton of farm, is tanky enough to survive the initial burst, and even they even have a 4 staff on Pagna in case something bad happens, getting closer to that uh, BKB. Oh, Nisha saving his buddy for the moment. The Ice Path follow-up, and now the full combination comes out. Wind Ranger getting healed back up by the Pugna, but it's to no avail as he eventually does go down. Nisha still chasing RP only onto one, and they pulled Seb back into the clutches of the rest of Secret. Yeah, really this bad time to fight for OG. And it speaks to one of the issues that you've got from OG. It, it, BKB timings for both of these heroes is going to be pretty key, I think. Although you don't really want to have to go for it. And they just blew up No-Tail. Okay. It happened so quickly. Look at No-Tail, what he's doing with <laughs> with his treants on the top lane. Just trying to buy as much time as possible so they can't go for tier 2s. Hana? The armor corruption misses the ice path. 
That was ugly. And mid one now, trying to turn into a tree, trying to dodge the damage, but Thompson's there, shackles him to another tree. They find the kill. Oh, he should, he should I don't even know. Stay if... hidden under under the Chappy amulet. You run around, just punch people over and over again in the laning phase. I miss the Orb of Venom days. Get some D wards. OG chased. <gasps> I was real yeah, close. They found him. Oh, and the four staff with the shackle aggressively played. Really nicely done there by OG. He was in the yeah. range of that sentry board. That does become more than problematic. There's a DD bottom. We'll see if they maybe want to try and take a fight with that on Nisha. It's going to be here for another two minutes and a hook shot down bottom. They catch themselves. No tail is able to get the sprout push himself out of the cogs, but it's not going to matter as mid one takes his claim of the prize. Anisha has the DD now. It looks like they want to try and take this fight. They need to play around this uh, BKB on PA. Try to lower it down. Find Jerex. Looks like he will die. The fissure comes out from Nisha. Thousand damage Morphling. What? <laughs> exactly thousand damage at one point after using that enchant totem. 250 plus 750. It's going to be a smoke up. Roche is back up. Yapsor within vision. They have good vision of OG if they break their smoke on a mid one. Has his BKB available? Ana thinking about jumping here. It's a little bit dangerous though in Yapsor. He'd be a great one to jump on. They go for the initiation, but he's able to get the blink away. Uh, they revealed for just a second now the Glimmer Cape keeps alive Puppy. Ana needs to be careful as they chase forward. Already burned through the Aeon Disc. And this fight's not gone the way that OG wanted to start it. But if they can burn off Puppy at the beginning, this would be a great way to make it happen. So they chase forward for more. Jakiro buys back into the game. Now they chase up onto the high ground. Thompson completely left alone. They dropped down the Sentry Ward in the duration of the BKB. Can they chase him down and kill him off in time? Chasing forward. Nisha able to get the blink away. Thompson lives. Everybody living with the exception of Puppy. You did have to buy back. And now Ana gets the BKB. Tries to run away. Mid one drops his ultimate as well. And now decides to turn. This extra armor. It's not doing enough. And the RP. They're controlling him. They're starting to take down Ana. Can they fully kill him off in time? He's still living through it somehow. But it's not going to be enough. In the end, he does die 80 seconds on the sideline as Jerex also going to be under fire they find that kill too Versus it looks team. like they'll get out alone there it felt like they got so separated when that first initiation sort of was botched yeah and let me tell you a story about the best players in the world clockwork he realizes that he's not going for any kind of aghanim scepter build two-thirds of the way to the bkb afterwards on top of his aegis they still have no time on this uh, Roche here. This is going to expire right now. This is maybe their moment. Zai moving into position. Everybody blinks away. OG still living. Seb throw. Whoa. What? Okay, they hook shot up. And they go for no tail instead. <laughs> I thought right. he misclicked because I was <laughs> holding my camera to the bottom whether he wants to hook on Pugna or Earthshaker. Yeah, I wasn't sure there. He went for neither of them. This is what I want to see. Phantom Assassin didn't go for Basher. I mean, just the Basher and has a straight Divine Rapier queued up. They they need damage. They need to risk to win this game. Yep. Seb, in the meantime, is going to get hit here by the Ice Path. And his Aeon Disc has already procced mid one. They can't break the tree this time. Need to run away and decrep the walk out of here. Looks like Seb will live for Yapsor. the moment. Yapsor looking for his finish. Gets the RP, pulls them both back in, and that is also going to be the Earthshaker under fire. And Jerex, Echo Slam, he just walked in and did it. There's no follow-up, though, afterwards. Tops and BKBs and tries to run away. Ana jumps in aggressively, and now he doesn't have a way to get out of this one. BKB turning to fight, see what he can do. It's not going to be enough. Nisha's there good as well. Shackle. A good shackle shot to try and turn this. They need to get the hell out of here. Good Too shackle, much damage no coming from Nisha. Good blink away. Again, it feels like OG is always outnumbered. Their positioning in both of these games have not been great. Yeah. Looks like Nisha's gonna go for a Satanic afterwards. Shackle shot, catching. Can they kill him off in time? He's switching over. Morphin to others form, but are they gonna be able to burst him? The stack, they get it killed! All right, mid one also reveals himself. Bold as brass. And gonna be chased. Shackle, it connects. Mid one, what's going on, baby? He's gonna get caught. He's also gonna go down. The feed is real as they just lose their two cores. What? 70 seconds without morph, a minute and a half without Monkey King. Secret might not be fully aware that this is happening. 
Looked like it was a relatively Roche for middle of the road. And this is huge. Roche going in their favor. The quick Roche spawn means that they get it. And now a refresher shard left on the ground for Jerex. Puppies, level 24. Ice pad duration. That's extremely good. Monkey King is level 25. One Moon Kong's command ring. Uh, is there any thoughts about going for the Ice Path Pierce's BKB? Oh god. Hold on. Gapsor gets stunned. Shackle not gonna land, but they're still able to find it in the Echo Slam to follow it up afterwards. They try and take him down and they will be able to get the RP off, but it's not good enough. He had buyback. He could have just jumped back into that one. And it does look like with the RP already down, it makes this fight a lot harder to take. You can go for the pullback in onto Ana and oh. just blow him up. He did not have Nisha. enough time to actually pop that BKB. It not enough time after he died to put the back Black King Bar from the backpack into his inventory. 0 0.1 second. It's unable to land there and the Dagon to force them back yet again. He's just still hanging on to those two waveforms and this building just drops so quickly. Manta style, pop forward, take down the tier three. Shrines are open. Where are they going to find their shackle landing? Can they hit it onto anybody? Mid one, connects onto both of them. They buy back on two. They bought back on the PA as well. Can they blow them up in time? The hex is there as well. They bought it onto no tail, but mid one cheese. also under control. Ana jumps in. There's the cheese. It ends up popping. They still got him under control. Trying to get the life steal, the boundless strike. It's not quite enough. Is it going to be there? No. Topson still lived through all of it. And now they've got their eyes set on another. It's Zai, who's going to be found and going to be killed. But it Zai, costs them a lot. Zai does not have a buyback, but Monkey King does. 70 gold. If they use it correctly, it could win them a team fight. Windranger now has this uh, Crystallis, who has a gem. Yapsor. Oh, Ana's there. Topson also. They use the Focus Fire trying to take down mid one. He thinks about going for the ultimate. Yapsor is there also in the Shadow Blade. Nisha chasing forward with the blur. It's going to get dispelled in a second. Jarek spots him out. Backing away. Right at the start, you can potentially just win the game. Buyback status for a lot of these heroes is on cooldown. Chase forward for more. There's the Decrep and the Dagon. The Shackle connects as well. Glimmer Cape going to wear out soon. Power Shot comes out. They throw out another one of those Lotus Orbs. Dagger's going back and forth. But as I said, that Tier 3 tower gets taken down by the Necro Books and the Treants. Now they're trying to chase for more. Jerex does find one. Nisha to turn it back around. Tries to take it in, but they're going to be able to find the Shackle Shot. And now the turn run. Can they kill off Nisha? No, BKB popped. And now is going to try and take down Topson. The big jump in coming from Ana. The way up to the high ground. Seb still lives through this one. He needs to find a bash or a couple of them, if at all possible. And they're able to Anna. find it. There's going to be the Abyssal Blade used. Controlling him fully. Can they take him down? They take down this Nisha. Morphling. And now Yaps are also trying to run in. They're still living on Ana. He has a blink strike in a second, but they use the RP. Trying to interrupt this one can they do it no they lose the pa they lose the pugna and it looks like og are going to lose this game unless there's a miracle coming from topson he is in play for this team and this one is looking just about over yeah that this looks like a game because phantom assassin does not have a buyback for three minutes and 22 seconds they could just go for tier fours and they're gonna Dot their eyes across their T's and just go straight for it. Shackle not going to land. Topson, BKB popped. They just used the E-Blade and it's all over. GG is called as secret. Take it 2-0 over OG. Really good performance by Team Secret. I, I got to say OG looking uh, way better than what they looked uh, a month ago. Since they added Ana, it feels like a different team.